The Z Slash 28 nameplate was revived in 2013 for the fifth generation Camaro. The iconic name returned after 46 years as a track ready version of the road going coupe, just like it was originally conceived by Vince Piggins. It also received a big, naturally aspirated V8 and, even though it wasn't as powerful as the ZL1, it had a 737 minute Nürburgring lap to brag about. Being quicker than its supercharged siblings, the Porsche 911 Carrera S, and the Lamborghini Murkiligo LP640. A hit with Chevy gearheads in its first months on the market, the Z-28 sold out quickly despite its $75,000 sticker. However, things didn't go as expected in 2015, with GM eventually offering discounts of up to $4,000 for the performance coupe. With a brand new Camaro in dealerships since late 2015, Chevrolet is now working on a third generation Z-28. There is no specific timeline for the redesigned model, but chances are it will be unveiled by mid-2017. Until that happens, we decided to put together a speculative review to go with the cool rendering our artist just created. Exterior the Camaro Z-28 will obviously be based on the standard Camaro, but will have a slew of performance parts that make it a track-ready scalpel. That includes a bunch of aerodynamic improvements. In the most recent round of spy photographs, we can see just how aggressive Chevrolet Chevrolet is making the Z-28. This is all in a bid to compete with track-ready specials like the Ford Mustang Shelby GT350R, Porsche 911 GT3 RS, and BMW M4 GTS. Up front, the large lower grille and headlights are shared with the Camaro ZL1, but the similarities end there. Outboard of the grille are two air intakes with massive aero winglets that appear to be for downforce. A large front splitter furthers the downforce action, along with side splitters along the rocker panels. The hood seems to be missing the large heat extractor of the ZL1 dash most likely because the Z-28 won't be supercharged and therefore doesn't require the extra cooling, but it still has a heat extractor midway up the power dome. Things get really crazy out back. The trunk holds a large wing with three support brackets that appear to be adjustable. There's no word on how much downforce the wing will create, but from the looks of it, the Z-28 should have no trouble holding corners around the Nürburgring at breakneck speeds. Its top speed, however, will likely suffer when compared to the Camaro ZL1. These spy shots also show us Chevy's latest wheel design, though these might not make production. They are five-spoke units with a split-spoke design, essentially making each wheel a 20-spoke design. Sizes are likely staggered with 19-inch wheels up front with 20-inch wheels out back. Expect the rear tires to measure some insane width, something in the 305-325 to series range. Interior The interior of the Z-28 is expected to be well-designed yet sparse. Taking a cue form the last generation Z-28 and other modern track focus special editions like the GT350R, 911 GT3 RS, and M4 GTS, the 2018 Z-28 will likely come standard with Recaro racing buckets, missing rear seats, thinner glass, less sound insulation, and carbon fiber accents. Expect to see GM's performance data recorder to come standard, as well as the Mylink infotainment system. Perhaps GM will leave air conditioning as an option, just as it did with the 5th generation Z-28. Once we know more, we'll let you know. Drivetrain speculation is running ramped on what will power the Z-28. However, Camaro forums and industry talk does point to the LT1 V8 from the Corvette Grand Sport. You'll recall the Grand Sport is basically a naturally aspirated version of the mighty Corvette Z06. It carries all the same suspension, brake, and aero bits as the Z06, 
but offers a track-ready VET at a price between the standard C7 and the all-out Z06. Well, that same LT1 V8 could very well be what powers the Z-28. We suspect Chevy will up the ante with a hotter camshaft, a free-flowing exhaust, remapped EQ, and a cold air induction system designed to pump power well north of the 505 horsepower mark set by the last Z-28 7.0-liter V8. One thing is for sure, the Z-28 will be a naturally aspirated car. Behind the engine will be two transmission options, the 6-speed manual transmission and the all-new 10-speed automatic, borrowed from the Camaro ZL1. Those looking for lap records will opt for the automatic thanks to its lightning fast shifts and race-tuned performance modes. Suspension and brakes The Camaro's new and lighter chassis will gain further updates for the Z-28. The coupe should ride on new spool valve dampers with four-way adjustment and a race-bred suspension system. These will be paired with a lower ride height and lightweight wheels wrapped in Pirelli P0 Trofeo tires. Stopping power will be provided by Brembo carbon ceramic discs measuring 15 inches front and rear. The front rotors will be squeezed by six piston calipers, while the rear will use four piston units. Prices just like its predecessor, the new Z-28 will be anything but cheap. With the 6th General Camaro a bit more expensive than last year's model, the upcoming Performance Coupe should also carry a higher price tag. The outgoing model retails from $72,305, so it's safe to assume that the Z-28 will fetch at least $78,000 before options.